Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be going over the Rift Box and uh, reading chips basically for Android phones really don't use that this much for Apple of course but this one is basically for you know I have this adapter that I built right here this adapter is actually uh, This is the one I built like a while ago. And this one is for SD cards. I just, you know, soldered the wires into a motherboard. So this one would be for reading SD cards. So what I'm going to be doing is just going over this a little bit and showing how to read EMMC chips you know you have the chips that are actually on the phones too they can read and get the data off there or if you need to retrieve the data or you need to repair the boot partition and the boot partition is basically you know if a file system the phone doesn't boot proper and this will cause you not to be able to retrieve your data off the phone too this box actually, you know, could fit or fix the boot partitions of most phones from HTC to Samsung phones. So, this you could also use the tag into the wire system itself into the chip. And once you tag into the chip, you could actually, you know, retrieve the data off those lines, which you have to trace down the lines for the. EMMC. But this you want to use for directly for the EMS or the EMMC. This would be just for taking and repairing bar, uh, boot partitions on the Rift box. So I'm going to go over a little demonstration just basically reading an SD card. You could read the actual chips off the motherboards too. I don't have the chip socket for that. I usually just take the chip with wires and read it that way. Really don't mess around with reading and retrieving the data off the Android phones unless it's really necessary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up and obviously that's gonna be the side of the the Rift box for the EMMC SD GPIO pins. So, and this is the JTAG you would use for unlocking basically the phones, repairing a boot partition so the phone actually boots up proper. Comes in really handy instead of trying to retrieve the data off the chip. And a lot of phones will have them like the HTC, the Samsung, you could directly unlock from the SIM card itself, which is a pretty nice feature. So I'm going to plug this in here. I already got the SD card in here. For example purposes, I'm just using a 512 megabyte that took a picture off of an Android phone. And I'm putting it in here. Or you would have to solder the wires directly to a damaged one if there is damage. This comes really a nice, uh, nice little package just because when you're trying to read the, and you retrieve the data off the actual chip, say if this chip is unreadable and you can't read it for some error messages in the computer. So I got that plugged in there. I'm going to switch to the desktop here. So I'm going to open the Riftbox software. So this is a riff box. Basically this would be resurrection. Resurrection files basically system is for repairing the boot partition or unlocking or H boot. You could do a directly H boot unlock from for HTC phones. Uh, Samsung phones, you know, if you want to unlock the device, so you can have it to a different carrier. Or a change in the carrier SSID. You could use that for the resurrection files. 
and that's the way it would be basically telling you your pinout interface over here resurrection you search your Dell what kind of phone you have and you would all go off your megahertz the clock speed and that would be the JTAG of it and then you got the read and write DCC read then you got the EMC so by just going over this a little bit you would have to have your uh, what you want to have it set for your clock speed now I'm going to go over a little bit about what the clock speed is on it because a lot of people there's no clue and there's really no demonstration videos on the software itself so this is how I have this stuff set obviously you can change but on here change the address to what size or what it reads or it'll tell you the voltage I have this SD card isn't you know typical anywhere from 1.8 to 3 volts so I have this set to 3 volts now if say for example if you went to 5100 here and you had the, the clock speed a little too high on here and we go to read this chip it's gonna read it fast don't don't get confused by it. it's just giving you an error message when it pops up you know it's still read it and you're gonna have to save it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check for the SD card first alright so it shows that we have it and it's telling us the voltage that it's feeding to it and we got the clock speed at 51 So it's going to tell you all the uh, partition sizes when it was manufactured. Uh, that's an old SD card if you tell me about it. But, all right, so we write it there. You could change it to what you want. I'm going to go to read. I'm going to read this. You can notice that it's reading the data over here. And we're reading the 8 megabytes transfer speed. No, that's kind of high. Usually, typically, I like to stay in the fives, even on the newer devices, like the Samsung Galaxies, retrieving the data off those, the sixes and sevens. Uh, this might give us an error message when it's done reading or it's probably only going to go to 80 percent or in this up 94 percent all right so it gave us a read error on there that's obviously because the clock speed is a little too high so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this file here We're going to save it as SD. There we go. You see it transferred. And it saved it. 322 megabytes. So I'm going to go over to the file. Say this is an Android phone. This is uh, retrieving data, pictures, such on, off the memory chip, or actually the EMMC chip that stores all the data. On Samsung phone, HTC, whatever you got. Basically, Android. As long as it's not encrypted. But there's other ways. That's why you would repair a boot partition or copy that boot partition to copy to another phone. So, therefore, you could retrieve the data actually off the, the device. Because, especially if it's encrypted, you got to have another device working to be able to use that. So. <clears throat> We go to the file system over here. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna go in DMC camera. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you an example for we read that at a fast clock speed. And this is why, for an example, why you do not want to read at a high clock speed right here, especially retrieving people's data off here. So you see, we got the lines going through there. 
this distorted picture quality. So that's an example. So what we're going to do is exit out of that. It'll close. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug that, plug it back in. Just the USB plug. We're going to check in. There we go. We're going to change this frequency now to about in the 20s. And we're going to go to read. And you're going to see it's reading a lot slower, just a little bit more slower. And you see the transfer speed is at 6, six megabytes. Typically, you want to go a little slower than that to get the, get the best quality. Seeing that one right a little too fast.